Hello, and welcome to Tech Boost TV. I'm Jaime, and today I'm going to show you how to install processors into the Dell PowerEdge R610 server. Before beginning, we recommend checking with the manufacturer and ensuring the latest firmware is installed. For this installation, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver. Please check out the quick spec link in the description below to learn more about processor compatibility for the Dell R610. First ensure the server is properly powered down and that the power cord is unplugged. Next press and hold the power button until the light is completely shut off to ensure there is no residual power remaining on the motherboard. Please make sure to check with the system manual and comply with any recommended safety instructions. To open the system, lift the top latch and pull the panel back and up to remove it. You now have access to the heat sinks which you must remove to install the processors. Remove CPU-1's heatsink by releasing the two latches and pulling the heatsink off. Clean off any thermal paste from the heatsink using paper towel and rubbing alcohol. Remove an installed processor by carefully pulling back the retention pin, lifting the processor cover, and then only touching the sides of the processor, gently lifting it out. Also clean the processor with paper towel and rubbing alcohol. Once the processor is removed, you will install the replacement processor. Take notice of the directional marking on the processor and ensure it aligns to the corresponding mark on the motherboard. Gently place the processor inside the socket and ensure a snug fit. Close the processor cover and replace the retention pin to lock the processor in place. Now apply a small pea-sized amount of thermal paste to the center of the processor. It will spread out once you place the heatsink on top. Secure the heatsink on top of the processor by latching down both ends. Installing a processor into the second slot is done in the exact same manner as the first. Remove the heatsink and then the processor, clean them both. Install the new processor into the socket and replace the heatsink. Slide the outer panel back into place and secure it by replacing the latch. Please check out our how-to videos covering processor, memory, hard drive, and other component installation for this and other systems. If you have found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. We welcome suggestions on how to make these more useful, so please don't be shy with requesting additional content.